Hey, hi, and welcome back to Let's Play Cubby's Epic Yarn. Post part two of post commentary. In the last episode, I failed to realize we were coming to the end of the video. In this episode, we are going on to Castle DDD. I speak too fast for my own good. Oh, I'm sorry, I spoiled it. What is this? I don't know. It's. Oh, it's Castle DDD. It, it took too long showing. I was trying to make a thing of it. Jerk. I need to get gold on that level later. I, hey! I didn't give a chance for them to see the preview. I was in a bad mood and I recorded this. Which is why I'm post commentating if you didn't see the previous episode. This episode post commentary because of reasons. Anyway, this music is probably my one of my favorites in the entire game. I know I say that all the time and it always changes, but I think I mean it this time. Oh. So good! I could just not talk and I'd be content. Now these doors. Every other one is a treasure. And then the other ones, so there's the patches for the bead at the end. And then to get them, you have to defeat the enemies. Gives you a little exclamation point we haven't seen in a while. Aha! My foot is asleep. My foot is asleep. I'm sorry. And when you... <laughs> yeah, see, that was a patch, so... It, it cha changes, as I said. Go on, keep going. I'm rambling. I messed this up the... Okay. I practiced this level before I recorded. And anyway, my commentary still sucked the first time around. But I couldn't get that. Like, I somehow screwed up the bomb. I think okay, my foot is finally awake. Sorry. One of these is really impossible to do. Oh, that's a good sign. Oh, that's... I just remembered something later on in this level that's not very fun. Why am I destroying the box? Kill him! No, kill him! I know you want those beads past me, but they're not gonna do you any good. Can I say I really suck at aiming? Because I do, sometimes. There you go. That's a lot- isn't that much better than destroying all the blocks? Arrow Waddleys. Oh good. Um, Castle DDD. Someone put a lot of effort into this model of Castle DDD. Hmm. I said the music in the last level was really good, but this is amazing. Kirby music is always good, it never disappoints. Like truly, every level is a masterpiece when it comes to music. To me. It's no... Here, okay, here it is. Here's, here's my typical comment. It's no Banjo-Kazooie though, I'm sorry. I can't resist. Ah. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie music. Mmm. So good. I put it in one of my unlisted videos for this, when I decided to run through and speed it up, get gold, I put Pandora can use two music to it. Breezy Z Peak. It's... I don't know where it's at. It's one of my old snow pun videos. Anyway, bombs. This is the easy bomb section. Oh my god! He <laughs> came right back at me. Well, that star is out of luck. Can you get that one up there? Thank you. They keep trying to attack me. Uh. Okay, I'm lucky I could have gotten up there and do that in the first place. Yeah, get, get out of there. You're not gonna be so lucky later on. These portrait placings are so odd. I, I just feel like they're... I don't know. I mean, you got DDD looking around and then you see <laughs> the enemy place portrait. It's like... Like, it's Castle DD, I guess that makes sense. I just think, wouldn't it be cooler if it was a picture of DDD you had to peel back? But I guess that wouldn't make sense. It's not like you're finding DDD or anything. We're good. We did that, uh. uh 10 videos ago? That seems like too much. Five? I'd look right now, but that was glitch the recording. My computer is not so good.
I have nothing to say about what's going on. It seems blatantly obvious. Blatantly? Is that the right word? I don't know. I like that word, but I never know if I'm using it, right? Oh, UFO. Why are they UFOs? Why were the bombs, you know? Huh. That's probably one of the easier ones to do. Because they home in on the other ones. What are these? They don't hurt you, but those home in. It's so easy. Okay, GDD's robe. This luxurious robe is amazingly comfy, even if it is a little big. I read that too fast. I don't know when I'm gonna push the button in these videos. You know what I wish you could wear? I wish you could wear that robe in the game. Like, after you beat it and you play the game again, I wish you could wear that. That'd be cool. Wait, you can't play the game. There's no plus file. What am I saying? Was I thinking there? What? But I wish you could wear the robe in other costumes. That'd be cool. There's something later on. I think it's in... Not the next level, but the one after it. I'm not talking about the boss. It's after the, the levels I'm talking about. This room is weird to me. I don't know what's going on with these guys. Did we even see these before in the game? I think like the very, very first few stages we did. They just kind of disappeared because they had no use for them. I killed that guy with the other guys. That went surprisingly well. I didn't get hit. Did I? I don't think I did. I can't even remember. And I just It just happened. Well, it just happened again, I guess. Man, I am impatient, I see. Alright, that's... That isn't, that's not everything. I almost said that's everything. We forgot the music, I think. Yeah, because we got the robe and the patch and everything. The music was just right there. I really need to slow down with my talking. I, I keep catching myself talking like super fast. What are these? Are they cannonballs? They look like... I, I read somewhere that they're barrels. That they don't look like barrels. What is up? What is up there? I don't. Is it? I don't think it's the room. No, it's just beads. But yeah, good. We we'll go. You know, we can get for something coming up. <laughs> ah, my eye itch. Oh, there's the music over here. Yeah, there you go. There I. There you go. There I go. How much more time? Oh, playing time. Okay. I forgot there's more to us than I thought. Okay. I don't... Um... Ooh. This room is super tricky to do. Because you got these guys. You can't jump up. Don't... Don't... Oh, boy. See, I really screwed... Oh, I screwed myself, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I sit here thinking, like, Oh, what do I do? Because even if I do get that guy, I can't... Oh, good. I can't get him. And then there's that guy, and I messed up. Don't worry, I come back here later. I have another section I see in my program. I I I get it later. I see. So don't worry. I actually don't have to do this off screen. <laughs> That's a good idea. That's a good idea, Jake. There probably is a way you can glitch it so I can get up there. There probably is. In fact, I know someone probably has glitched the game so they can get up there. Like that. That was too much of a pause to continue with that sentence. Sorry. Giant frickin' Waddle Dee over there. Actually holds the way to progress. It's not a treasure. However, it is stuff to get. That'll give us the gold. No, it won't. Never mind. That well, though. You know, it doesn't really look like something you can stand on, but it is. You'd be fooled, I think, at first. You don't pay close enough attention. Oh, this is where the game gets mean. Here. Oh, God. Cannons. The Donkey Kong Country flashback. You know what I can't stand? The first Donkey Kong Country. Or the second one. <laughs> I don't like those games. I try playing them, and I just rage quit every... Oh... That's not good. Every time. I cannot play the first two games to save my life. I love the third one. Maybe it's because it's easier. <laughs> Until you get to the factory, factory levels, then it gets difficult. 
Oh! I thought I did that a lot worse. Hmm. But no, I can't stand the first two Donkey Kong Country games. I have not played Returns, but I love it. I want to see. It's a bell! So yeah, that's my little rant on Donkey Kong Country. Yeah! Let's keep going with the game here. <laughs> Stop talking about that. For no reason. Wait, did I miss the music? Oh, yes, I missed the music. It was the bomb thing. That was a bell of joy, by the way. Ironic. Lee named. Oh, watch this, watch this. I'm not gonna say something here. Watch, watch, watch. How awesome of a twist was that? I That caught me so off guard the first time I played this. Uh, that, and the music changes dramatically. This is the only time you hear it until you beat him. So, until next. Oh no, I got more. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. But yeah, Yin Yarn is up next when we go back to live commentary. You'll see that. And there he is. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> So yes, until next time, we have that, and here is me getting the music, I see. There was supposed to be something that pops up on the screen saying that, but I think it disappeared. Well, it only took one try. <laughs> it took one more try to get, I don't care about the beads. This scared of, oh jeez, it could've hurt me. Yeah, this, I'm lucky this only took as many tries as it did. Because... Not easy. And there's the music. So thank you all for watching. This is Robot Chicken. Bidding you farewell in the post commentary world, and I shall see you back live commentary next time. Bacock and goodbye. With Gourmet Race, this classic tune was in Kirby's Dreamland. You could hear it now in Castle DDD. Bacock and goodbye. Whew.